somewhere but I don't know where. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you perceive in your inner vision? Yeah, I perceive this peace. Mm -hmm. And I'm going down into this space. Mm -hmm. It's kind of warm. It's warm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Tell me more about this place. It looks like what they would call a stadium. Mm. So it actually looks like a stadium? Yeah, it has green in, in the middle and a silver color outside. And it's, um, it's oblong uh, shape. A shape, not so round, just like like a like a field, a football field. Mm. What is in the in the ground floor of inside this place? Have a look. Is it actually green, or it looks like green? The grass. Mm. Is it green grass? Mm. And they said that around is more silvery? Yes, metal. Metal. Mm. Do you see any construction, any objects? What is this? Not yet. I'm seeing incense. Insects. Insects. Mm. Where are these insects? This look, one looks like a cockroach and the other one looks like a scorpion. Mm. It looks deserted. Mm -hmm. No one has been here for a long time. Sorry? No one has been here for a long time. Uh -huh. It has a smell. Mm, tell me about the smell. Can you describe it? It's like chemical. Mm -hmm. And there's some yellow smoke coming out it from somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's in the air. Mm -hmm. Where does it come from, the smoke? Can you follow it with your... With your uh, it's coming resource? out from, from within this place. Uh -huh. Where is the source of it? Can you track? Let me see. Mm -hmm. It's from inside, mm -hmm. on, the, on the ground. It's coming, this, this yellow thing is everywhere. And it's coming from inside, mm -hmm. like on the ground. Mm. And when it comes out, does it come in one certain place? No, it's, it's it spreads out. Mm. It's, 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 it's a bad smell. Mm. Is there anyone there? I haven't seen anyone yet, mm -hmm. but I'm seeing some dead animals. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have a body where you are uh, observing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look up down at your feet. How do they look like? They are bare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bare feet. Mm -hmm. How do they look like? Can you describe them for me? They are my feet, human feet. Mm -hmm. What color is the skin? It's white. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Tell me about your legs. <sighs> they are normal legs. Mm -hmm. Are they short, long, thin, fat? They are thin, very thin. Mm -hmm. And... 
not tall, not short, I think young, young legs, mm. really legs of a young person. Okay. Are you wearing anything on your legs? No. No. Okay. Let's go up towards your torso and your hands. My hands are very dirty. Mm. Your palms, you mean? Yeah. What color? What kind of dirt is it? Black stuff on it. My fingers are also very black. Mm. Like inside the finger is is dirt. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Are you wearing anything on the top? I'm wearing a gown. A dress. A dress. Mm. What color? It's supposed to be white, but it's so dirty. Mm. It's no longer white. How long is the dress? Up to my, um, below my knee. Mm. What material is it? It's um, like cotton mm -hmm. fabric. Mm. Is it loose or tight? It's loose. Loose. Mm. Mm -hmm. Long sleeve or short? Short. Short. Very nice. And have a look at your head. I'm very young. Mm. Are you male or female? I'm a girl. You're a girl. Mm. What's your name? I don't know. Mm, that's okay. We will find out. Tell me about your hair. It's not kept. It's very unkept. It looks like it came out from a hole. Mm, because you're so dirty? Yes. Mm. Are you carrying anything on your hands? No. Okay. Nothing. Are you... Anything on your back? Are you... I'm not holding a bag. Okay. Do you have any accessories on you? No. Okay. Tell me about your hair. How does it look like? It's very thin. Thin blonde hair. Mm. Up to my lower, under, below my breast. Mm. And it's, um, it's very thin. And it's not well kept. You mean they are messy or dirty? They are messy, very dirty. Mm -hmm. If you were to guess, how old would you say that you are now? Between 11 and 12. Mm. And how do you feel at this moment, checking with your emotions, with yourself? Deserted. Mm. Lonely. Mm. You said there's nobody around right, right now, right? No, they've all gone. They are gone. Where are they gone? When? I, I don't know. Mm. They, they are hiding. Everyone is hiding. Everyone is hiding. Mm. What are they hiding from? These chemicals smell very bad. I see. Mm. How is it for you that you smell it? I can stand it, mm. but I know it's a bad smell. Mm -hmm. So as long as you are there now, I mm. want you to be observing what is happening, but I don't want you to have any physical sensations, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So... You were saying that uh, <clears throat> you are, are now in inside this field? Yes. Mm. And there are debris everywhere. Like dirt, like papers, cans. They are just everywhere. Mm. It's, it's like the wind brought them there. Uh -huh. You said papers, cans? Papers. Empty cans. Ah, cans. Yeah, aluminium. Aluminium? <coughs> Is this aluminium? Mm. I think it's, that's what they call aluminium cans. Empty. In uh, rubber bags. Empty. Mm. Yeah, it's like the wind brought everything there. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is, a, it is a, a, um, a football field. Is it a real football field? Yeah, it's a real football field. Oh, so you see also the the chairs and the chairs. Yeah, I'm walking in between. I walked in between the chairs, mm. and now I'm in on the field. Mm. And there's no one there. No one is there. Mm. Is it day or night? It's daytime. Daytime. Mm. 
Do you hear anything? I don't hear anything because they all went away. Mm. They are hiding. Mm. They are hiding on the ground, underneath the stadium. Uh -huh. How did they get there? They have to run. Everyone has to run away from the from the wind. Mm. From the wind. Yeah, it was a, a weird wind, wild wind. What do they call it? Mm. That wind, like tornado kind yes, of wind. Like tornado. Yeah, yeah, that I that see. type. So everybody got to hide. Yes, but mm. but it's been going on for a long time. Like it has lasted some weeks or months, mm -hmm. and we are all stuck in there. Mm. In this chemical, everyone has run away from it because it stinks. Where does this chemical come from? I don't know where it came from, mm. but it's it's in the air, mm. and it's yellowish. Mm. Is it like dust? Or more like a gas? More like a dust. Mm. Dust? What does mm. dust? Dust? Like, like smoke. Mm, okay. It looks more like smoke. Mm, mm, mm. And it's all over the place. So everyone is underground. Mm. And uh, I wonder about this tornado that you were saying. Uh, do you know how... Is it generated? Who creates this kind of tornado? Is it natural? Is it, what can it's not natural. Mm -hmm. Because from the way it came, you can tell it's not... We thought it was natural. Mm -hmm. But now we know it's not natural because it came with this smell and this chemical. Mm -hmm. It felt like an explosion. Mm. Somewhere. Mm. Tell me about it. It felt like an explosion has happened somewhere. Mm -hmm. And this wind, it triggered this this thing, this wind. Mm. And it, 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 we were affected mm. somehow. Mm. How were you affected? Can you tell me about that? I think... What I, what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, mm. is that this wind was triggered from a thing they were mixing with chemicals and mm. and something they were doing somewhere, mm. and this triggered this wind. I see. And the chemi it got wrong. It was an experiment got wrong. Mm, an experiment got wrong. Yes. Were you involved in that experiment? Not directly. Mm. Who was doing this experiment? Some some people were in the hiding place doing some some things. Mm. Was it above ground or underground? Underground. Mm. It was underground and I see. and it got out of control mm. and it caused some electric light electric things went bad. And that triggered another thing, that triggered another thing, and then it triggered the wind. Mm. And this wind was what made it really worse. And then it started moving from the place where the explosion happened up to where we are now. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the people who were involved in this experiment. I Can see. Tell me about them? I see men wearing white coat. Mm -hmm. And I think we've gone back to how it was before, mm. before the explosion. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's let's um, see what happened there. Okay, let's so so it looks metallic inside, mm. very clean. It looks metallic. So you are in a room now, or something like that. I mean the hall. Okay. It's a it's a big um. Const what is it called? Facility. Facility. Yeah. Mm. That's what he said. Mm. Very good. So it's a facility and um, mm. they were carrying out experiments. Mm. What and, kind of? And where I am now, I could see like something like a boiling water, but it's not water. Mm -hmm. it's the thing is boiling and it's green. Mm. 
and um, it's very hot mm -hmm. when you go close to it but mm -hmm. when you move away from it it's, it's not you, you can feel it and they are mixing stuff in small tubes mm -hmm. some blue I could see red I could see yellow mm -hmm. I could see gold I could see silver mm -hmm. They are mixing, these are standing somewhere, but they're mm -hmm. mixing other stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks like a scientific like a laboratory. laboratory, but they are working more with chemicals. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me this about the size of this container with all these liquids, how big it is? Okay, so there is the hall where I came from, mm -hmm. and on this round hall, there are small rooms around it mm -hmm. and in these small rooms around it are different rooms where different experiments have been take, are taking place oh, wow so there are more than one exp yeah there's more than one laboratory i see and each laboratory is is so big and it's independent from the other laboratory mm, wow so it's a big place it's a big place and you said that this is all underground it's all underground. It's like a city underground. Wow. It's very huge. Mm. And tell me about the, the, the people that you see inside these laboratories. How do they look like? Do they all look similar or different? They all look similar. They're all humans, all of them. Okay. They're humans. What kind of clothes are they wearing? Clothes they wear in labs. Okay. White suit. Okay. All of them? All of them. Mm. Except the ones that come in to check from time to time. Who are these? And they look like the bosses. Mm. What are they wearing? They're wearing suits. They're wearing suits. Mm -hmm. Normal political suits. Mm, I see. Suit that politicians wear. And what is your role in these laboratories? What are you doing there? Let me see. Mm. See yourself doing it. Mm. What is it that you're doing there? I'm sitting in front of the computer. And I'm, and um, hold on. That's not me. That's my mother. That's my mother. Tell me about her. She works there. Mm. And on this day, she took you with her. Mm. What is your mother doing? She puts. She she logs in data data into the mm. into into the computer mm. they bring reports they bring reports to her and she logs them in mm -hmm. very good so can you tell me a little bit more about the purpose of these experiments i'm not sure mm. ask your mother she knows better no ask her what are these experiments all about she said they are making new humans. Mm. Can she tell us more? She won't say. She's not allowed to. Uh -huh. She's so scared. Mm. Why do you think she's scared? I'm not supposed to be there. I'm not supposed to be there, mm. but she, she brought me along mm. because I have to be there. Like, I was not in school. Mm -hmm. I have a cold mm -hmm. and she has to be at work. Mm -hmm. But I'm not supposed to be in this room. I just wandered myself in here and she's, she's, she's scared now because she's very nervous mm. that I, I came in there. Mm -hmm. How is it for you to be there? It's interesting. <laughs> Everything is clean, mm. clean, and it's quiet. Mm. Everybody's doing their stuff. Everybody's doing talking. their stuff. No, no, there's no child here. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at her now. She's, she's typing very fast. Mm. In the computer. In the computer. Mm. She asked me to sit down, and I'm watching what she's typing. But they're all cold. They're all codes. I, I don't. I can't read them. Mm. They're all coded, coded things she's typing in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So let's close that scene and let's move forward to an important day. A day that you consider important because something is happening. Okay. And now we are there. What do you see? Okay. So in this place, my mother comes home and she takes me and she said, we have to leave. And, and I said to where? She said, we have to leave the city because something has gone wrong. Mm. And I'm looking at her and I don't understand what she meant. Mm. But we are packing. Mm. We're taking our stuff and like, we have to leave very fast. Mm. And, and then the clouds are getting dark. Uh-huh. And the wind is blowing, really blowing. Wow. And she's, she's carrying, she's holding me very tight. And she's trying to lift me up so we can run faster. Mm. Because I, I'm confused. Mm. And then we we go, we didn't take so much with us because there was there was just no need to take too much, and we are now on the street. Everybody is confused. She's driving. Tell me about the city. How does it look like? Or oh, the village or the town, wherever you are. It's a city. It's a it's a big city. Mm. Everyone's confused. Okay, we, we everybody is confused. People are flying here and there, mm. and so the it's chaotic. Was, it's yeah. actually chaotic. I'm curious about the. Before we continue with the story, I want you to observe and describe me a little bit. The, this city, mm. how uh, primitive or advanced? Advanced is yes. advanced. Is really advanced. Mm. There are. Uh, skyscrapers very long there are no small houses here mm. it's not it's nothing like in the countryside mm. as we know countryside this is a, a advanced busy city mm. and, and how advanced is it do you see like uh, cables of electricity do you see like uh, there are no cables of electricity in anywhere visible Mm. They do exist, but they exist on the ground. You don't see them on the mm-hmm. on the street. And how about the cars? The cars are very sporty. Mm. They, they they move very fast. Mm. They move very fast. Everything is metallic. It looks so metallic. Mm. So silver, metal, metallic silver. Mm-hmm. And how people dressed? People dress. Mm. Have a look. Some they all dress corporately. Uh-huh. They were, they're all busy. Mm. Ah. And you said it's chaos at the moment. It's chaotic at the moment. Mm. So people mm. know what's going on? What do you think? People know what's going on, but you don't know why. Uh-huh. But my mother knows why. Okay. She said the experiment has gone bad. Oh, wow. The things they were mixing has gone really, really bad. And uh, it, it, it is already happening in the other underground where the facility is. What happened there? There was an explosion at that facility. Oh. It's, it's, it caused something went bad mm. that causes that caused that explosion mm. in the facility, they and it's reverse. spreading. They cannot reverse it. Wow. It's spreading. And because it's spreading, mom, my mom has to come home fast and take me to get out of the city mm. because she knows how bad it's going to be if we don't get out very fast. I see. So now we have the uh, advantage of knowing what is happening mm. and how bad it's going to get. Mm. So we are moving. But some people have already gotten information that something has gone really bad because they felt the explosion. Mm. They felt it. So everyone don't know what is going on, but they're all running from to, in every direction. Wow. What about your father? I don't know about my father. Mm. 
You feel like there is a father? No. Okay. I don't know between my mom and my father what happened, mm. but but he he I mean he doesn't exist in our life. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So <clears throat> you said you were in the car and you're driving fast. And we are driving fast, but but she, we are now out of the car because there's no point driving. It's, it's all blocked. I see. So we are running, mm -hmm. and and in this this wind is coming and. It's a very black wind, mm. and it's coming. And it, 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 it smell. It come. It's coming with this kind of smell, mm. and everyone still don't know what is happening. But you know it's bad because the wind is really strong, mm. and it's throwing things here and there, wow. and everywhere is 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 chaotic. And then someone is telling us to go underground. Someone is saying, go underground, go underground. So we have the advantage of knowing, like I said, what is going on. Yeah. So we have the privilege yeah. of being safe. Yes. So we left the car, we met this person, and then from the office, from where my mom is working, mm -hmm. and he's saying, we have to go underground. Mm -hmm. But my mom was skeptical in the beginning because we were she was walking underground, mm. and to tell her to go underground mm. is it doesn't make any sense. But then he persuaded her to go underground. Mm -hmm. So we went underground, which is very dark now because there's no power. Yeah. The power is down, and in underground. So it was from this underground that I came out. In, in that uh, field, mm. that uh, football field. Mm. So we've been underground for for months now. Wow. And we couldn't come out until when I came out. Mm. I actually crawled out from the underground. And it happened that we were in a field, on the underneath of a football field. So you didn't know where you would come out? No. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. And how come there was an opening in the football field? There was what? There was an opening connecting to the underground bases. In the football, in, in most undergrounds are connected. Many undergrounds have connections, one way or the other. How come there was an entrance in the football field? It to get underground in the football field. Mm. Most football fields are con constructed like that. What do you mean? With underground. Most f underneath the what they call locker room, there is under or underground in there. Why? They are constructed like this in most cities. Mm. So this place was connected to the facilities. The facility, most uh, underground buildings. Okay, it happens like this: that the construction that happened in this city have underground bases mm. underneath the what they call cellar. Mm -hmm. I'm using the word cellar. Mm. There are other underground underneath those ones. Mm. And these facilities are built, which is not known to a lot of people. I see. But they, they have connection leading to a specific underground. Mm. So these entrances are secret. They are secret. Mm. And the big underground where a lot of privileged people mm -hmm. hide, mm -hmm. this... Other undergrounds connect to those big con undergrounds. So even if a construction person is working in an apartment that has underground, he wouldn't know the connection between that apartment mm -hmm. and the big underground mm -hmm. city. It's, it's, it's like a city. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't know. But those ones who knows can find their ways into the big underground. So the city has a lot of tunnels mm -hmm. and underground that leads to the big one. Mm -hmm. the, the big one where they save people that, that needs to be safe. So safe. You, you said that you stayed underground uh, to keep safe for months. For months. Because that thing is spilling up there. Mm -hmm. And it's smelling and, and we, can't, we couldn't stay there. Mm -hmm. And it's yellowish. Is is poison? Mm -hmm. So 
So I guess you had enough food and so resources. In Northern Crime, there's always food. There's always, but we, nobody knows how long that is going to stay. And in our situation right now, we've run out of supply. Mm. Is that why you wanted to that, that was, come out? Yeah, that was why I was looking for ways and crawled out of it. And, mm. and I am now in this, that's how I found myself in this field. Mm. So you did it alone or did other people come with you? We, we got tired and everybody started moving and looking for, for ways to 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 get out mm -hmm. but I, I guess we didn't know how poisonous it is up <coughs> up here although we've been told many times mm -hmm. but w we w were not listening so you went out without your mother i don't know i lost my mother somehow i don't know how i don't know when okay. i just i just know that she's not there anymore mm. we we got lost we got mixed up in in the in the in the chaos some time ago and I've been with some other group of people and I, I don't know. I don't know where my mom is now. Mm. Okay, we will find out. So let's, let's close that scene and let's move forward in time, in the future, and see another important day of this life. And now you are there. They found me. Who are they? Some men found me. Mm -hmm. Who are these men? They work with my, mo with my mother. Mm -hmm. They found you uh, on the surface? Or where? They, some military men took me to them. Mm -hmm. And where do they take you? They, they are pulling me right now. Mm. And they're taking me to. They. They they know who my mother is. Uh -huh. They know who you are. They know they who. Recognized you. N no, they they okay. took my. The, I don't know. They scanned something in my fingers. Mm. And and they just put one thing like something on my finger and and all of my information was out and they know who who I am. Mm. I wonder how that works. What can you tell me about this technology? It's, it's a scanner. Mm -hmm. it, it scans you through your... Let me see. They have all your information. They, they use your... Fingerprint? Fingerprint. And how does And they read it. And that thing read it. And once this fingerprint gets into that... It's like a clip. Mm -hmm. They put your finger in between that clip and just clip on it, and they take your print and your fluid. They sweat in your finger. It's always a fluid mm -hmm. there, and they use that to check. I don't know. It just goes into the into the the thing, the machine there, and all of your data comes out. I wonder if inside your finger is any kind of a device. No, I don't know. There's no device in my finger. Okay. So I, they are I, able to read your information from the skin, from the finger. From, the, from my skin. fingerprint. So there's no chip inside or something inside your finger? I don't know yet. Mm, okay. That's fine. So I don't they, know. They just, they just put that thing on my finger and, mm. and then made a call. I see. And, and then this man, this military man took me to that place and... And these men are now dragging me to, to, to where my mother is. That's what they said. They're taking me to where my mom is. Mm. So let's see what happens. Where do they take you? So they're taking me there and, and he's holding me so tight. Mm. And it, it hurts and it is pulling me. Mm. And he's taking me into <sighs> another facility. There's another one there. Oh, it looks like it. And th that's my mom. My mother is there. And then she... She's not happy. She's all very upset with me. Mm. She... She's very angry. With you? 
with me. That you left? That we, I got lost. I see. What does it say? Where we were, that I got lost, I was not supposed to be there. Mm. Oh, so okay, it okay, it's a class thing. It's a class thing. There are different underground buildings. There are buildings underground, like a city. But these are separated from class to class of people. So I happen to be in a privileged class. So the underground I crawled out from was underground for people who are not so, let's just say people who are lucky to be alive. Mm -hmm. And privileged. they are not the privileged. Mm -hmm. They brought me to the privilege now ah. because my mom is privileged. Yes. She walks with this, yes. these people. Yes. So they brought me there now mm. and she's upset with me for getting lost mm. because I did not follow her instruction or something. Mm. So I got mixed up with those other people who were lucky mm. to be alive. Mm, 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 mm. So she has been in a place where they still have supplies. They, they see power. I don't know how they got power, but it's, everything is comfortable and convenient in this underground. Mm -hmm. And so they restored the electricity. Uh, it looks like, but no, mm. it's been, it's mm. been organized. Okay. It's been prepared for, for in case, because they knew something would go wrong. Mm. If it gets wrong or if it goes wrong, this is a place where they have prepared privileged people to be and the other underground was if you're lucky you find it you get safe mm. but this one is already established I see. it's established for many many years mm. they have already started working on this one and they knew they have been expecting that something will go wrong mm. and so they have this is and in case something goes wrong kind of mm. facility mm. so they have it's already organized and prepared i wonder how big is this facility the it's almost like a city in there you wouldn't even you wouldn't even um if you have if you were born in there let's say you were born in there mm. you will not know that there's something above ah, so they're actually living there. yes it's a very, it's, 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 it's like a city in there. Wow. It's a city in there. Wow. <coughs> they also grow it's food? It's unbelievable. So they also grow food there? They have food supply. I don't know how they grow, if they grow the food. Mm. But there is enough food supply. Could you estimate how many people were living in this uh, facility? But I don't know how many, but there are, we are many. Mm. Apart from the people who who my mother works for. Mm -hmm. There are families, political family people. Mm -hmm. There are high society family people. There are what you call privileged people. These, these are the kinds you see there. And in the other side, you have people who are lucky. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are lucky to find a place for, them to, for themselves to stay. Do they have the resources to survive? Which ones? The, <coughs> the lucky ones. The lucky ones. That's where I came out from. That's where I crawled out from because there was no supply. Mm, so they are, they even might be dying out from the, the Yes, population? yes. Yes. I, I was looking for food or something. Mm. Then I crawled out of that hole. Mm. And then this military man found me. Mm in that uh, field because nobody was there they found me on that field and they took my mm. information and brought me here mm. okay so let's move time forward we are now moving forward in time to another important day much later what do you see 
We are still in there. Mm. We live in there now. Okay. Are you much older? I'm older. Mm. Would you estimate your age? At the, at Maybe 18. Okay. I'm about 18. Mm. So everything is controlled. Mm -hmm. Everything is controlled. So we don't live the life we used to know, like a free life, if it was free. Mm. And we... Wow. It's like a different, completely different life. From the one above ground? From the one, from the one above, yes. Mm. And the facilities still remain the way they, they were. They only expanded them. Like, so we, are, we live underground now. Mm. So the underground construction is expanding. Mm -hmm. They just keep expanding it and we're living, uh, we, we, we go to school in the underground and we are trained to, like scientists, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we, how to do stuff like, I don't know how to say this, mm -hmm. but He's so controlled that we are not allowed to do a lot of things. Mm. So you're more or less like robots. Like we have more limitation than we used to. Mm -hmm. We don't have open field to play, so we don't play. It's, it's either we are studying most of the time in school or we are to be trained somewhere to know how to use uh, machines. Mm -hmm. What are you trained in? In my case, I, um, I'm being trained to con to control machines. Mm -hmm. What kind of machines? Like like robots. Mm. That's what I'm being trained to do. Mm. So Did you choose it or they... No, they, no they, you don't have a choice here. Mm, I see. You don't have a choice. And do the experiments are going, still going on? What happened? Experiments are still going on. But you know what? There are no kids. Mm, how come? Where are the kids? There are, are no kids. Produce? They don't produce. Mm, why? I don't know. It's like they are not allowed to. They're not allowed to make kids. Mm. Tell me about it. And the experiment is still going on to create, like my mother said to you, they were making new humans. Mm. I, don't, I, I still don't understand. She, she didn't tell me exactly what that means. Mm. Is still They're working making for new this? humans. So she's still working for this project? Yeah, she's still working. I mean, that's why she had the pure privilege to be here. Mm. So they are successful in their attempts, so they indeed produce uh, beings? I haven't seen any. They have succeeded in producing, mm. but they have produced a lot of robots. When you say robots, I wonder how do they look like? How they they, they look like humans, but they are metal. Ah. Like metals, they do have human brains, I would say, because I've seen that. Mm. They have human brains, but that's the only thing I see. So externally, if you were to see them externally, how do they look like? Metal. Machines. Uh-huh. When machines. you say that they look human, you mean the They have the limbs. Shape. They have limbs like humans. And, and, the, and the head? And the head, like humans. Oh. But it's, you just see machines. Everything is silver metal. Mm. I don't know if this is the idea of the, human, the new humans she was talking about. Mm -hmm. We don't talk a lot, my mother and I. Mm. Is this something secret in this It's space? secret. It's something she's not allowed to speak about. Mm. And what do they do with these uh, robots that they produce? How do they use them? They go up to the surface. Uh -huh. What do they do there? They search for things. Mm. I don't know what they're searching for, mm. but they search for things. 
Are there also humans living uh, uh, at the top? Above? above? The no, the humans are not living on the surface anymore. Okay, so the conditions are not appropriate. For no, them. no, that chemical and that smell. I see. It doesn't. You no, know, they so don't live up there anymore. So you're only safe underground. Then. We're you are, safe. You're trapped in a way. You well, yes, up, right? that's right. Only the robots. Yes, that's 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 just the situation. Mm, mm, mm. I'm curious about the the fact of what you were saying earlier that um, you don't produce uh, the, the the people they don't make uh, children anymore. No, they are not allowed to. Ah, tell me about that. What could they, you tell me? Okay, we. Okay, 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 okay. So they have they don't allow them to to have babies because they think that that place will not be conducive for more human babies like 100% humans so they are trying to mix human dna with another kind of thing mm. and to produce the new humans why what is from their perspective the benefit of that why are they doing this first of all they, they think that the earth will evolve But whether it will evolve, evolve with humans in it, I don't know. Mm. And what does a, a robot? Uh, why is a robot in their in their from their perspective better than than a human being? They are mixing humans and robots. Mm. They say the robots are stronger. Mm. They are more resilient. They can stand a lot of things, mm -hmm. and they don't ask questions. Mm -hmm. So no one is allowed to make children. No, they're, the, the they're not allowed way. to make. No, no, no. But what will happen to this generation after it dies out? How are they going to reproduce? Uh, and, and, uh, I know? don't, I, I, I don't know from mm. here. But of course, yeah. But I can see they are producing more of these robots. Mm, mm, mm. How do you feel about that? I don't like it. It's mm. not flexible. Mm. It's not flexible. It's. I have the impression of a world of metal mm. like a wall like like not it's not earth that's not how how earth functions mm. so this is against earth is anyone in the facility aware of this of this agenda of this project they don't care they just want to achieve this they what they like is that the, the robots don't ask questions I, I mean, if it's a secret uh, project or everyone who is living underground in, 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 in your society knows about this. Are the robots walking around freely in the public? Yes, the robot walks through, they walk around freely. I see, I see. But, but we, our lives are controlled. Mm -hmm. Our lives are controlled. We can't have, we can't have babies. We can't, we can't make babies. Mm -hmm. Our relationships are all controlled, like it's static. Mm -hmm. It's not normal human relationship we have. Mm -hmm. they, we have been watched all the time, like like military people. Mm -hmm. So we we can't even. We, we are stuck. Do you have anyone to talk to about these things there? Do you have any friend? I have a friend, but we we don't talk because we are being watched all the time. Wow. Not only being watched, they have, they have their their thing. They 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 know where we are every time. Oh, so you are highly censored. Y yes. Mm. And, uh, uh, that thing they put in my finger to know mm. my. They have it everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. Like they know where you are at any time. I see. They know where you are standing. They know what you are doing. They know what you are eating. They they know everything. So you cannot escape, really. No. Mm. Okay, so let's close that scene and, and uh, let's uh, move forward to the last day of your life in this, in this lifetime that you are watching. Tell me, what do you see? Where do you find yourself? We keep out. I think we keep out. Not all of us. Mm some of us i think that's why mm. i have issue with my mother because i cannot live that life 
So you, you were able to escape? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we, we came out through a robot. What do you mean? <laughs> we, I did learn how to control robots. Mm. So I got into a robot, my body into a robot and came out. I was not that? alone. We were some group of us. We wore this robot thing. How were you able to um, get inside the robot? It's easy. It's easy. You just wear it like a suit. The difference is that it's bigger than 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 you. Mm. So you can just wear it. We made it. It was our own secret too. So it was like a costume. It was like a costume. Mm. Yeah, but a different one mm. because. We got so advanced wow. that there are robots that are mixed with human DNA and human human parts, mm. and then we were also able to develop robots that we can get into. Wow! So we wear the robots. Mm. We we wear them. Mm. So the robot is moving, but we are inside mm. controlling it instead of controlling it from the outside. Mm. We control it from the inside. Mm. So we came to the surface and see how bad the surface had become mm -hmm. unkept. Trees were able to grow back. Mm -hmm. So the trees grow with, without any direction. The, the plants grow without any direction. So our old stuff that we left have been overgrown by plants and trees and, and nothing is kept. Mm. Although the smell is still there, but not so bad. Mm -hmm. But at least plants are growing. Mm. So if plants can grow, it means we can survive. Yeah. But they will not let us come out to, mm -hmm. to stay uh, above. But you escaped, you said you did it. We did. I'm, I'm telling you how we did it. Yes. So we came up with the robots and then we left that that place completely mm -hmm. we we took our stuff and we went to a faraway land mm -hmm. different from from where we were how many were you when we, we were five we were eight in the beginning but now we are five just five five of us arrived here wow did you remove the the robot uh, we, we removed costume. everything costume everything on that land and we left mm. we left we had to leave very fast and we have to leave like very far away from the other because they will track us down if we don't yeah. because the robots will be found out and like we are censored mm. they don't know where we are so we have to move very fast mm. so we got into our stuff that looks like a jet it's not a jet but it looks like a jet mm -hmm. so we can try it's that small it's very small we slip ourselves in and we travel with it so it, it travels in the air, mm. not on road, mm. but it doesn't go so far, like, like for f months, traveling for months. Mm. It can only take us weeks. Mm. So we went out of that land where we were, mm -hmm. or that part of the earth where we were, mm. and went to a different part of earth that we thought was not affected by that smell and that chemical. Mm -hmm. So we arrived there and there were people. But the people we found, they are very primitive. Mm. They are very primitive. So this was how far we, 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 we left. Wow. This was how far. Because we got crashed. Because of course the, uh, what, the thing that looks like a jet that we took out from there. Your it crashed. Of course it will crash. We expected it was going to crash. Mm. Because... There's no how we can fuel it, whether it is using fuel or electricity or whatever it was. Yeah. Let me see. I think it was using it was using a kind of thing. I don't know what I don't have a word for this thing that it uses that powers it mm. to to travel. I don't know what it's called, but it's a kind of thing. It can be recharged, mm -hmm. but I don't know what it is called. So, because we're not in the, in the, 
area of our where we live there's no how we can recharge it so it ran out of power yeah so we got crash we knew that we were prepared for that so we had everything we needed for that crash mm -hmm. and then when we got crash we started walking so we walked for miles and miles it took us months to arrive where we were now wow. and the people we meet here that are here are very far away from where we were in terms of advancement you mean they, they were more um, advanced we are more advanced ah, you were more advanced they were more preventive yes so how did they receive you they were surprised <laughs> It was funny in the beginning because, mm. of course, we are humans. We look humans, mm. but but you can tell there's a difference. Mm -hmm. they, 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 we are cleaner, so to say, more groomed mm. than they are. Mm. And um, we were looking at our nails and our hair, how nicely <laughs> combed it is because we comb our hair in a way like in the military mm -hmm. you cut it in, in a way and you comb it so we, we took that with us we took all that with us we keep our hair well groomed our nails we have well polished and clean as as much as we can because we've been working so we cannot be so clean but when we arrived there we started you know with continuing with, with kind of culture mm -hmm. that we have been groomed with mm -hmm. so they are always surprised when they see us doing stuff like that mm -hmm. because they don't care they, they they just don't care they grew themselves with nature mm -hmm. and we are coming from a, a, a kind of a metallic world into a world of nature mm -hmm. even though it's a distant planet but this is how different we are so they are kind of fasc fasc fascinated mm -hmm. with with us because we, they see that we are human, but our ways are completely different, and that this is really fascinating for them. So you stayed with them. We stayed with them. It was more human. Mm. It was more human and more natural and more relaxing. At least you don't have sensors following you everywhere and you don't have people watching you all the time. Mm -hmm. So were you able to blend in the society? We were able to blend in, but we, but every day we, we are scared that we'll be found. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is how we live now. We live with this fear of being found. Mm -hmm. So if we go until the end of, of that life, until the last day, mm. were you were you being discovered, or you you live the less the rest of your life peacefully in this society, in this um, place? We were found. We were found, but we made an agreement to be left there, mm -hmm. and never ever come back. Come back. So they let you in peace. So they left us alone. Mm -hmm. So it's like cutting ties with. Yeah. With, with with family members or whatever you have mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. and just s staying here. So it was a clean cut. cut. So we we did, we were found. Mm -hmm. we, of course, we whatever it was, they they they, they can read date, our data. Our data is is still there. Mm -hmm. So they, they they were able to trace us. They found us, mm -hmm. and. Um, they came over and we had this we agreement that we were not coming back and we were asked never to come back because they would not want us to tell the other ones mm. that this place does exist. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the level of control they have. Yeah. So we were, I don't know how, maybe they were supposed to die we were supposed to be, you know, completely taken off mm -hmm. so that no information is brought back. Yeah. I don't know about that, but it was a, a top secret to that we were left alone in there and we were asked never, ever to come back to, to our original home. Mm -hmm. Because if we were going to come back, we would be killed anyway. 
because they shouldn't know that that humans still exist somewhere mm. in a natural form. So luckily you were able to um, terminate the life in a, in a peaceful way. Yes. Mm. So we stayed here, mm. all five of us remained with these people. Mm. And tell me, tell me about the, the, last, the last day of your life. Where, where did you leave your body? I left it in the heart. Mm. I left it in the heart. And um, all the other people were around. And I died early. You died young? No, not young, old, but early in comparison to the native that are there. They lived longer. Mm. How come? Were you sick or was another reason? Checking with your body on this last day. I was sick. Mm. Sick, not like sick, sick, mm -hmm. but sick because like my body has out. to get my body has to get used to living here mm -hmm. and has done a lot of work trying to this transition between there and here mm -hmm. and it just worn out mm -hmm. it just got worn out mm -hmm. okay so I've taken a lot of chemicals I think my my body has taken a lot of chemicals oh, yeah for what happened there. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is not natural to eat it. And then, coming out from then, then coming back to what is natural, mm -hmm. it was yeah. too much changes. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps if I re remained over there, it would have stayed longer. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But but coming, changing like this mm -hmm. was, was I said, a dramatic thing for all of my cells. Yes, yes, I can understand. So, tell me what happens as you, as you leave your last breath in that body. What happens? I was glad I lived, I had the experience of three, three kinds of life in one lifetime. As I lay there, I could see, I could see my first experience as a child growing up with my mom on the surface you mean. on the surface mm. and then growing up on the ground and then now growing up in this primitive area this is three different kinds of life in one and it's i am i am so glad i was able to go through it and experience it it was an intense life right lots of uh, it was strong intense experiences. yeah it was intense, mm -hmm. very, very intense. Uh, we thought that when we were in the surface, in the beginning of my life, we thought it was too restricted. We thought it was too controlled. We thought the politicians were controlling everything. Mm -hmm. And then we got in the underground, and then we find out that we had more freedom up there than we had in the underground. Mm. So now that after experiencing a natural life, I found out that all of the other life I've lived were all controlled, but the worst of all was the underground life. Mm -hmm. It was too restricting for the human mind. Mm -hmm. It was too restricting. It's like we were in a prison, in a big, gigantic prison. What do you think was the lesson that you learned in that life? The whole of it. It shows me how dynamic a human is. Mm -hmm. How easy it is for us to adopt to a kind of living. It's very easy for us, for humans to adopt. Very, very easy. That the body adopts very fast. And the body adopts in accordance with what the mind says. But the adoption of the body is very easy. 
and the human mind is very dynamic I guess that's why it's easy for them to be controlled anytime, anyhow, anywhere because it's like that so it can be reprogrammed like a computer like a computer thing you can program it and reprogram it and it will adjust all the time mm. and the you, human brain is highly intelligent it's highly intelligent More and if you restrict it it will still it will be restricted mm -hmm. and the moment you give it a, a, an open door to express itself it goes crazy mm. because there's so much it's realized immediately that there's plenty to explore but when you block it, it blocks. Mm -hmm. It just, it blocks. It gets used to it and stays there. And the moment you allow it to, op to be open, it starts working by itself again. It's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. In a way, it's like a machine. In another way, it's like a, a, a natural, like mm -hmm. natural things are dynamic. Mm -hmm. It can be static and it can be dynamic too. So it's both, it has both nature, depending on how you program it. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy I leave the last one. It is the most interesting one. Although I came in uh, when I'm already older, but it was interesting. It, it's amazing. Same planet, different lives. And it's in lifetime. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So I want you now to drift away from that life. And at this moment, I would like to call forth the life force energy or the higher self of Gloria to come through and communicate with us. I'm here. Thank you very much for coming through. May I ask my first question, which is, um, why did you bring this uh, life uh, forward for, for her to see today? What were you trying to tell her by showing her this this uh, this life? I'm trying to tell her and humans in general that whatever they do is based on the choices they make, they made. So the choices is that you can be flexible or you can be rigid depending on whatever it is you want to experience but that they have they have an opportunity in this time this present time to choose whatever they wish to mm. why this time because this time is open this time Okay, we showed her three, we showed her an existence of three different lives. And so she will understand that in this time, in this moment, in this present time of the earth, mm. is a time where humans are free to be anything they want to. To step out, so out of the nothing. To, to step out if they want or to remain if they want mm. so nothing is stopping them them mm. nothing is stopping them they might be thinking that maybe those people in power are stopping them but they are not mm. they are not the human in this time is open 100% to be anything they want to mm -hmm. anything they want to so we have the, the choice now. We are being given this, uh, this gift, this, this opportunity to have the choice to choose the, the life we want to live. We always had it. Mm. We've always had it. But in different times it has been limited. 
-hmm. It has been controlled. It has been blocked. But in this time now, it's open. Why? It's open. Because, because even they are curious to see how far humans can go. Even they want to see how is it going to affect them. How will their collective thinking affect them? Mm. So that was an experiment as well. That was an experiment. Everything has been an experiment, experimental level. Mm. Is this what's going on right now on Earth, an experiment as well? It's also an experiment. In one side, it is an experiment. In another side, it is controlled. Can you tell us more about that? What do you mean? The experiment or the controlled? Both. Or whatever you feel is more relevant or important. Let me start with the controlled. Mm -hmm. For a long time, the human mind has been controlled and programmed mm. to reason in a certain way, to do things in a certain ways, to think that that is the best way and the only way. Mm. And humans have been on their own also, being independently, going into areas where they think they can grow. And anytime they come up with an information to say we can grow, that information has been taken, destroyed, and buried. From whom? From those controlling it. Okay, from the matrix. From, from the matrix, whoever, the whatever group is controlling the system. Yeah. They've always hidden all this and they're still hidden. They're still hiding some. Mm. But it has gotten to a point where they cannot hide everything because it's too many. It has gotten to that point where they cannot hide all of it. So some of them are allowed to slip out. So once it slipped out, they just let it go. So whoever is going to take that information and make use, use of it can do it without any restriction. Can you tell us how is this tying into the uh, what we call ascension process that we are going through and the split of the old and the new earth and yeah this time that we are now this big change yeah it's all it's all part of it it's all part of it so it, it's more or less saying that those in control those who were controlling it in the past mm -hmm. are buying time but they know that they have no control over it anymore they know they have lost control mm. because what will be will be. So they are buying time in that they are trying to force humans to remain on that part of control where they were before. Mm. And knowing that the human mind can, the human mind can be programmed, can be kept programmed. So they are buying time to program it, uh, to keep it there, to keep it there under control. Mm. But they know also that they are running out of time because humans will grow. They have made a collective decision to evolve mm. and nothing is stopping this decision. Mm. So these ones who are controlling it are only buying time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it will, it will come to an end and humans will evolve. Mm -hmm. So we are in a bridge right now. We are in a bridge. We are in a bridge where we are trans transitioning that's the word transitioning from being controlled and being limited into freedom where we can just allow our mind to express itself mm. that's where we are now and although it is a very difficult uh, uh, place to be but the people who are existing on earth right now will give birth to the new earth they will be the one that will give birth to the new earth. So they have a lot of responsibility. So we created. We have decided humans mm -hmm. in, in, as, a, as, as, as a collective uh, body have decided to evolve. And we are now in this transition to evolve. And so whatever it is that we decide to do as human beings, we have no restriction. No restriction whatsoever. You can go as far as you want. So we not should, be, should not be afraid of the controllers not be anymore. Not be afraid of the controllers because it has gotten out of their control. 
they have they have killed a lot of people a lot who wants to, who wanted to bring this information to the public or to the eyes of people they have done that yeah. and they have seen that it is not stopping <laughs> they have seen that if they kill one you should expect that two or three of those other people they don't know about mm -hmm. have gotten the information because they know now that it is not about I have information I'm going to keep it for myself no the moment you perceive that information somebody else is perceiving it mm -hmm. you're tapping into the same yes you're tapping into field. the same field so it, they have no control over that it's a field mm -hmm. they don't have control over it so you kill one person you only just taking the body away but the information is still going on somewhere so they must be in fear right now right? Of they how are, the things are pro progressing they are not in fear they are not scared and that's the good thing about them they are not scared they are not in fear they they just know they are going to lose the privilege of controlling the system okay that's it they just know mm. they were losing what you know they had they have been enjoying for decades decades or centuries yeah. they've been enjoying it so they they are aware that this time is coming when that mm. enjoyment of this thing we have mm. is going is going out of control so they they are more they know they will lose but they are not scared uh it seems though as if it um takes time as if this transition is extremely slow at least for some of us who are a little bit more aware do you have any comment on that it does seem slow in the human mind it is slow it is slow because the human mind is very fast when it starts when it's let loose mm. it's very fast in try to get stuff done but the material world is this very slow mm. That's why it looks like it's slow, but if something is does if something is happening. But it's 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 human and it's earth. It's not as slow as we think it is. This is the mind thinking it is slow, mm -hmm. but it is not. It mm -hmm. is not slow. It's happening. Fa Just imagine between this day and ten years before now. Yeah. See the changes in human beings. That's true. By the time you look at it, the, you accumulate all these changes. You see that it is fast. Mm. But because the human mind travels very fast, faster than the speed of light, you think it's slow, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's just the human mind is very fast. It's thinking. It's thinking all the time. It's moving. It's on the move all the time. Mm -hmm. So you think, oh, this is happening very slow. It's not slow. It's not slow. Look at how the time is. Time, time is moving very fast. You wake up in the morning. You start doing something that you like doing, mm -hmm. and before you know, it's four p.m. Mm -hmm. and you go, "Oh God, I haven't done anything yet." Mm -hmm. That is how fast the human mind is. Is moving. So all those things you think, "Oh, it's moving very slow." Mm -hmm. It's not slow. It's not. Slow. You are, you are awake. Mm -hmm. You are awake, so it's moving. For some people, they keep saying, "Oh, I wish the time would be." Oh, the time is moving too fast for some people. Yes, for some people, it's moving too fast, and for you, it's moving too slow. Mm. So it's it's about where you are at the time at this time. It's about you and where you are at. So for you, it's fast. For the other person, it's too slow. And some people say, well, it's, I have not been, I want the time is moving too fast. I wish I could slow it down. That's for some people. And for some people are saying, oh boy, it's too slow and boring. <laughs> it's about the individual, where the individual is mm -hmm. at that time and place. That's what makes it look fast or slow. Mm -hmm. So it's in, it's in the mind. It's in the mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing, and it seems sometimes as we are moving into this ascension process that uh, things are seem like they're speeding up, as if there's not enough time to do things anymore during yeah. one day. Uh, why? 
why is it like this? Why do we have this sense of the time is speeding up and is faster than it was? Yeah, again, it's your mind. Mm. Okay, it's the mind. The mind wants to achieve a lot mm -hmm. in in a short uh, time. When you say short time oh, or so time, it's, it's about Earth. Mm. It's about Earth because Earth is goes with time. It is a time thing on Earth. But when you come out of the Earth thing, mm. then you see that there is no time. Time does not exist. Yeah, and it's your mind going. Your time. Your mind doesn't know. What is time? Mm -hmm. Your mind just wants something to be done. Mm -hmm. It is the earth thing that tells it this is this time, this time, this time. But your mind is still moving. It's out of time. It's out of time. That's why some people, they sleep only three hours and they are fine with it. Mm. Some people want to sleep eight hours and feel they are healthy when they sleep eight hours. But some people are healthy when they sleep only three hours. Mm. Because the mind does not, it's not thinking time. But it's, it's, the, it's the conditioning of the human that is saying time. And is the earth, the way the earth revolves around time, you see there's time. But the mind is not is saying, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. Mm. And because the time is always there, mm. clicking, the human mind is saying, okay, how can we achieve this with this time? Let's work with the time. But still, it cannot work with the time because it's it's out of time. Yeah, yeah. So just to um and to check in if I understand you correctly, uh, the life that uh, she saw was is a future um, um, possible timeline for Earth. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And and what will lead to that kind of uh, uh, existence is already happening. Mm. It's happening right now. It's happening. A lot of experiment is being is going on in underground facilities, in underground under sea facilities. There are some going on under the sea. Mm. Some are going on under the mountains. Some are going on under the the fields. You, you think it's a field of football or, or whatever kind of field, but it, it's, it's just a camouflage mm. of what is really going on underground. There are so many underground facilities on earth, so many, and some of them are in places you don't, you wouldn't even think it will ever exist. Mm. I'm talking about underground facilities in places in a continent, in continent like Africa. Who would think that there's an underground facility in Africa when the at the surface, you think the people are poor, but there is something going on underground, mm. not carried out by the Africans themselves, mm. but a hidden facility of the so-called developed world trying to hide a facility, but hiding it underground in any of those countries in Africa. Some are going on in Asia, in countries in Asia. Some are going. Some of the, some of these so advanced undergrounds are not even in Europe underground. They are somewhere different, mm. existing. They are preparing these things for whatever it is they they they, they think will happen. Mm -hmm. These undergrounds are being built to accommodate people, and other undergrounds are being built for scientific experiment experimentation. For the uh, manipulation of DNA experimentation, for the, the giving birth of new species or new animals or new whatever they, they are doing, these are already going on. It is not like it will go on. It is already happening. Mm -hmm. It is happening. And it's so much that if they don't if they if they make any mistake it will affect the areas around it from the underground up to the top mm -hmm. so what we talked about earlier was a possibility of a timeline when something goes wrong or it if it goes wrong but it will go wrong mm. so it's a possibility the thing about humans is they, they can change their mind anytime and things would, and once a human being changes its mind, it shifts the reality. The timeline. The it, it shifts the timeline. So it's a possibility mm. of what will happen. Why we showed it to her was to help her 
explain the situation of today mm. that humans have a mind so fast faster than the speed of light mm. that it it does not match their material realis, real, reality and they, they have the, the the precious gift of being able to change their mind anytime and once that happens it shifts everything mm -hmm. so they are existing in a time and space of possibilities of anything can be possible mm -hmm. with them anything and they are 100% free in this window of of existence we are saying humans are 100% free mm -hmm. they are not restrict, restricted in any way to shift their future there's no restriction in this in this time and space right now there's no restriction so if we don't want to choose to to experience this kind of future timeline are we going to experience or are we going to shift me and who and anyone who doesn't want to is going to shift into another future timeline that is more positive or more you mean depending on the individual yes yes mm -hmm. yes yes okay. yeah so whoever wants to remain in a timeline of uh, limitation mm. will remain if they want to that is their universe and mm. that is how they want it to be mm. and if they want it there are people who are also there that will live that life with them because that's what they choose right sorry that's what they choose that's what they choose that's what, that's they, what they choose then. yes that's, that's what, what they, they create will experience. and that's what they will experience so that's why you wanted to show this today to uh, to gloria yes. to remind her of the, the the power of choice that yes, she has. Yes, power of choice. Yes. Okay. And to rem let her know that nothing is moving slow. Mm. Nothing is slow. It's very fast. It's moving so fast. And this advancement we are talking about is is just some years to come. Mm -hmm. It's just some some wow. years to come, and then you begin to see this kind of uh, 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 advancement. We are talking about. Uh, uh, elect electronic cars now mm. right this is going to be primitive mm. in comparison to what humans will achieve in, in the near future mm -hmm. so what uh, what can we do if we don't want to experience this timeline is choose what you want okay it's not as if the timeline is bad it's just that something goes wrong yeah that's all that's mm. it but to mm. experience that kind of advancement is, is is a good thing also mm. uh, although there's a lot of restriction in terms of thinking in a different direction because the direction humans are thinking in that in that us in that in that part in that um, era of existence mm. is mostly technology mm. they were in the technological mind mm. and that is what they were developing at that time mm. they were developing their technological instinct so the restrict there was a deliberate restriction of developing any other kind of uh, way of thinking mm -hmm. so that was a limitation that that entity gloria did not like yeah that restriction was what she did not like but but otherwise technology was so advanced they were trained in advancing it so I, I, we're showing it to her to let her know that it is possible Anyhow you want to program the human mind is possible. Okay. Thank you for this explanation. It makes sense. Is there any um, message from you or from any higher collective that you, that you can connect to? That uh, uh, any message that uh, you would like to bring through uh, to perhaps whoever might listen to this or yes. for, for, for Gloria, for me, for for the collective, whatever. We have a message for the collective. And the message we have for the collective is this. There are two types of people. The ones who say the time is too slow and the ones who say the time is too fast. We are asking that those ones who think that the time is is too slow should be patient with the ones who think the time is too fast because everybody is moving at his own pace and those ones who like you for instance are on this bridge of bringing people from 
the the time is too fast to the time is too slow. You understand what I mean? Kind of, not, not sure. You are in a bridge. Mm -hmm. And there are people on earth who are in the in the in the transition uh, uh, edge mm -hmm. of waking up. You mean yeah, yeah, awakening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There are people, a lot of them, who are awakening, but they have no direction, mm -hmm. don't know what to do, mm -hmm. don't know who to speak to, don't want to be called crazy, yeah. but have a lot yeah. that they experience, mm -hmm. but they're hiding it mm -hmm. because they want to, to, to be accepted and, and, and like to, to, be, to be related with, yeah. but they are looking for ways to transit into the other side. To the new ways. To the new ways they know it exists but they don't know how or where so they need a bridge mm. to help them cross over somebody to take them by somebody the to take them somebody to pull through. them in yes so they need that and like you are one of those people there and like gloria is one of those people there at the bridge mm. so what we are saying and these are those who say oh the time is too slow they are the ones saying the time is too slow because their mind is moving very fast. And they are the ones, yeah, they are the and ones the ones moving very slow. And they are the ones suffering. Mm -hmm. So when they bring themselves up to this level of crossing over, mm -hmm. they need the bridge, which is you. So they will come to you. The universe will bring them to you. You will meet them or they will invite you. Either the universe brings them to you or you will meet them or they will come to you. But those ones who are not ready, you will have nothing to do with them. Mm -hmm. So just allow it. Just allow it. Mm. Just, I always say, we've always said be patient. Be patient and relax. Relax. Let it happen. Mm. But because your mind is moving very fast and one your mind is already in a very far distance from where your body is right now. Mm -hmm. And you think, that, that is too slow. But we're saying to you, yes, it's normal. It's normal. Allow it to happen. Just allow it. Accept that it is normal. Yeah. But remember also that you have to wait for those ones to come. Mm. First of all, accept that it is normal. It's human. It's human. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You are fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. You are okay. The situation is okay. Where, where you are is fine. Mm. It happens. But do not push it. What I mean push it is do not get stressed about it. Do not get discouraged about it. Mm -hmm. Do not get frustrated about it. Mm. And do not let those slow ones pull you in. Mm. So be on your guide. Mm. Allow it to happen. Just beside, remember that you need to relax. It's only when you are relaxed that things begin to happen. When you try to force it, then you are applying resistance. Mm. So you are not only affecting what is happening, but you're affecting yourself. So the best way is just allow it. That's the word. Mm. Allow it to happen. Your mind isn't going very fast. Let it be. Mm. Maybe use it as an entertainment for yourself. Let it go fast. <laughs> but, but just know it will come. Yeah. It will come. For, uh, let me give an example. Mm. An example is the entity we are speaking through now. The things she has seen two years earlier... It's what is happening right now. Mm. Now she, it's happening, but she had seen it two years earlier. You saw it to her? Yeah. Why? Because it's normal. Mm. This is how, it's just normal. This is, it's a human thing. Mm. It's normal. That's why I say the, the mind goes very fast. Mm. It's faster than the speed of light. Mm. And you say, oh God, it's too slow. Mm. And then when you get to that point where you have seen it before, like in her case, mm -hmm. She, because just some few weeks she said, oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> but it, it, she had seen it two years yeah. earlier. Yeah. Now it's happening. And where her mind is now is farther than where she is right now. Mm. So it's like this. Mm. The mind does not know time. Mm. The mind just keeps 
going and traveling. So but, what is but, but the reality, the material world, we have to meet up with the time, but it will never, never, ever meet up with the body, with the mind. At least not in this dimension. No, no not in this dimension. It will, no, so. no, it will never meet up with the mind. Mm. Just know that mm. your mind will always be ahead of your material world. Mm. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. So this, this is this is what I just wanted to know that it is a fact. Mm -hmm. Don't get frustrated about it. Yeah. Don't get stressed up. Don't get discouraged. Do not try to control it. Just let it be. Your mind is already has already prepared it for you so just leave it let it happen mm. you can change it if you want but don't force it mm -hmm. what i mean by changing is you can change your lifestyle if you want you can change your choices if you want these are the things they are very fluid you can change them but when they happen and how they happen is something you have no control over you have to allow that to happen you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. Yeah. Like when you say, I want this. And you use your mind to manifest it by going into the astral uh, 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 aspect to create what it is that you want. Mm. Right? Your mind has created it. Mm -hmm. Your mind will wait for your material world to bring it. Mm -hmm into reality mm -hmm. at the time that thing happens in your material world your mind has gone a uh, more farther <laughs> than where you are number one number two is how it came into the material world is something you have no control over mm -hmm. because when you try to control how it to come into the material world you will be causing restriction you limit it you will be limiting it and causing restriction yes. so that you should leave it alone yes. for it to manifest itself because you have created it. Mm -hmm. That's it. You have created it. Mm -hmm. So how it will manifest, just leave it alone. It will manifest. Have I answered your question? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Uh, I have another question. Um, I have many people that come for sessions mm. that ask this repetitive question i get it from many people so i would like your your perspective on that so the question is uh, many people are asking how to amplify and awaken uh, their psychic abilities oh interesting i was wondering if you have any anything you would like to say on this okay because this is a question i get uh, most mm -hmm. of the time it happens differently for different people. Mm -hmm. For some people, they can do it by themselves. For some people, they will need help. That's it. Mm -hmm. Some people can do it by themselves, fine. Some people need help for someone to help them do it. Some people need help by reading something to help them do it. It's another kind of help. So they either get help from reading or they get help from training or they get help from someone who is trained to help them do it. That's it. So what they need to do is listen. They have to listen to their inner self to tell them who to meet, where to go, how to do it, what to read, or what kind of meditation they need to do. So let themselves be guided. To let themselves be guided because everyone is different. Mm -hmm. How everyone approach this energy yeah. is is different and that is this is what is so interesting yeah. about this planet it, there's no one way of doing anything yeah. there's no if i say hara this is how you should do it mm. i cannot say this is how uh, uh benedict should do it yes no because the way benedict will approach it is different from the one how we hara we approach it yes. because it's dynamic it's yes. fluid so they have to listen to their inner self. Mm -hmm. With this entity that we're speaking through, she did it two ways. First, she did it herself. It worked, but it did not stay. She got sucked back in. Mm -hmm. And then she, needs, then, then she, she went for help. Mm -hmm. 
and she and it happened when she got help and then she thought okay we have to keep it always amplified so for her it's a continuous process that it to be being amplified because it's like it's like um let's say be recharged when you want to recharge a battery when the battery goes down and you need to be to recharge it mm -hmm. That's how you, when you amplify it. So your inner psychic self, some people need to always recharge it. What do you mean recharge it? How would you recharge your um, psychic ability? For some people, not all, some people can be very psychic and then they get distracted. And when they get distracted and not paying attention anymore to their psychic ability, they begin to lose it then they will need to amplify it that's what i mean by recharging and how would one get distracted what do you mean how does one get distracted? it it happens often with 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 humans when you get stress stress is one way of distracting you mm. when your mind is busy 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 all the time you get distracted uh, so you mean disconnecting from your from your gut from that's your it yes okay. and once that that's it that's a kind of distraction and I that's see. material world distracting you yeah, yeah. and then you begin to lose that if you don't go back mm -hmm. to it so that going back is what i mean by recharging mm. and amplifying so amplifying is individual you can either depending on what your inner self says i need a recharge a recharge could be a meditation a recharge could be and hypnosis therapy a recharge could be any of this energy work mm -hmm. a recharge could be just relax just be quiet go to uh, go to nature sit there and relax that could be a recharge mm -hmm. a recharge could be walk on bare feet on a clean grass mm -hmm. and just sit there yes. that could be a recharge so everyone has a different way of amplifying the, their psychic ability but it's always where you have the connection mm -hmm. with your higher self and this connection sometimes they, we lose it humans i mean because we are in two worlds in this planet mm -hmm. we are in the material world and the astral world mm -hmm. so one can be distracting the other one so that's why we need balance all the time that's why we need balancing all the time. So amplification is an individual thing. Just listen to what your higher self wants you to do. It will come. Again, is the mind going faster than the material world? You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just listen to what the inside says. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, a question came up while I was... Um, but is the, the answer satisfactory? Yes. That you understand what I mean? Yes, yes. Because I'm sometimes sure. it's words, mm -hmm. trying to put words together and make a meaning out of it. Yeah, it's definitely uh, helps. Mm -hmm. So there was a question that came through our pre-talk with... Uh, with Gloria, she was wondering uh, why when she's um, uh, at her place and um, starting the process of uh, quantum touch, she has a um, cold sensation on her right uh, leg. Oh, wow. Okay. This is very personal. It's a very personal thing. And um, first of all, she should know that um, there is a vibration going on anytime she's meditating or anytime anyone is meditating. There's a vibration going on. And in that vibration, you tap into many things at the same time. This is how dy dynamic your powers are. You tap into many, many, many things, some of them. And don't forget, you are in a time and space that is not being shared by you alone. Mm -hmm. There are other dimensions around you. 
So when you are meditating and you go deep in your meditation, you are tapping into other dimension, mm -hmm. dimensions around you. And your body might be receiving that and interpreting it in its own way that is specific to you. So in her case, those the cold feet is her tapping into other dimension. It's not a problem. It's not uh, anything for her to worry about. Mm -hmm. She should just be aware that when she's meditating, she's tapping into different dimension, and she should shouldn't worry about it. It's not it's not something to worry about at all. It's just her body interpreting it. Her body temperature is interpreting it that way. So it's not uncomfortable for her. It's not harmful. For no, her it's anyway. not. It's not harmful at all. Okay. In fact, she should just know that it is a sign that uh, she's not alone in that space. Mm. We are never alone in any space. <laughs> never. Yeah. So she should just know that she's not alone in that space. Mm. That's one. And two is that. Um, Normally, she feels it only when she's at home. Mm. That's when she feels it. She feels it in other places too, but mostly it's when she's at home. So she should just know that it's, it's not a thing for her to worry about. It's not a blocked energy. For Some people interpret it like blocked energy, mm. which is not bad. It's still okay. The Reiki, that's how they interpret it sometimes. That is the blocked energy trying to come up, which is also okay. But in her case... It's not blocked. It's her typing into other dimension. And her body is interpreting it that way. And it's not just her feet that gets cold. Other parts of her body interpret it in different ways. She has just not realized it yet. So in time, she will begin to notice other sensations on her, in her body. But for the feet and leg, this, this is it's just it's nothing to be worried about. She shouldn't worry about it. Unless she wants to go into it in mediumship, then she can. But otherwise, it's not something to worry about. That's great news then. Okay, so I would like to ask, um, she's on her, making her steps, first steps as a, as a healer. Is that, do you have any advice for her in her new path? I think from all that we have discussed already, she has gotten a message from it. Mm. She has gotten a message from it. Like what what we were talking about, the mind going faster than the material world. Yes. That's just it. Okay. That's, that's what she needs to know. So she got what she needed. Yes. Is there anything on her uh, physical body that you would like to fine tune? Would you like to make a body scan on her and see if there's any... Any place that needs some fine tuning or some balancing? No, there isn't. We have done that. Wonderful. Yeah, there isn't. She she worries a lot anyway, but it's, it's human. <laughs> Always worrying. Hmm. We have small pain. We're like, what is the metaphysical pain of the meaning of this pain? It's fine. Mm. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just fine. She's, she's fine. Her body is fine. She's taking good care of it. That's very good. Okay, so do you have any any last message that you would like to bring through for whoever you think is relevant for her, for me, for the collective, for whatever you think? Yes, for the collective. Okay. I want to say that we are with them all the time and they know it but we are also saying be patient all those people around you will come in their own time just be patient with them take them along yes but don't be attached to them because they are all also in their own journeys and you are in your own journey. Be compassionate, mm. but do not be attached. Try not be attached. If you're attached, find a way to detach. 
because everybody has his own path and you have yours but be patient with yourself too that's that's our message be patient with yourself again your mind is faster than your material world don't forget that but thank you for all that you're doing we are very happy that at least we have the opportunity to speak with you and we thank you for making the time out we appreciate it thank you thank you very 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 much and i'm honored to speak to you and every time <laughs>